Okay, let's see if I can do this before my tea water goes off. Hey guys, I'm Mari Ray, and welcome back to another Sims 3 speed build video. It's been a while since I've done just a general speed build in a way, but this one is still not a general speed build. I'm building it for a challenge, more specifically the Adventure Sim Challenge, because if you've been keeping up with that one, we are jumping worlds. I'm moving them, Lucas and Omar being them, to a new world. Where that is yet, I still have not decided. I've been testing out some different worlds, and I've been having trouble getting them moved there without an issue. I've been, I don't know if the, the they get corrupted when I move them or not but some stuff has been acting weird in that save but I still have a backup save of where we left off so don't worry about it I'm, I have not lost anything I'm just trying to get them successfully moved to a world that I like and that's really difficult because I struggle to find worlds even in general gameplay so you know I need to find one that has some of everything in it so that Lucas can complete the challenge, which is to collect one of everything in the collection journal. So that might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. But this house took me so long to build. Last time I asked you guys, do you prefer shorter builds or longer builds? Most people said they prefer to see the longer builds. So I left in a lot of my indecisiveness in this because that's normally what I cut out. And I, I struggle a lot when I build. I mean, it looks really good at the end, but it takes me a very long time to actually get all this stuff built. And this is not even the actual decoration. I had to split this one into two parts because this video is like almost 40 minutes long. If it's not 40 minutes long, I don't remember the runtime right now while I'm recording this voiceover, but it was a very long build already. And this is not even like half of it. So there's still more to do. There's still an outside portion that you don't see here, which is the backyard. I'll include that in the next video, as well as the decoration on the inside. I put in some effort into decorating the inside because like I said, I, I more specifically made it for the Avengers Sim Challenge, which means we'll be seeing it a lot, we'll be playing in there a lot, and I wanted to go ahead and try to decorate it in a decent way. There is minimal custom content in the final decoration, you'll see all that at the end, and I'll put it up for download in the end of the next video. Hopefully there'll only be two for this one, I'm not 100% sure, like I said, it was a massive build. But I tried to keep this one a little bit on the larger side, and the rooms are actually kind of bigger too. I I'm trying something a little bit different trying to get a little bit more spacious I guess because I'm normally building very tiny builds so I I don't know, I like it. I think it looks good. I, I still think I, I have some more to learn in terms of different types of styles and stuff, but I think this looks good for what it is. So I do hope you guys enjoy the speed build for what it is right now. This is part one. There will be another part out. I'm thinking only two. I'll, I will cram everything else into one more part. It might be very long, but I'm gonna cram it all into one more part. So look out for part two and part two will have the download in it if you guys are interested in the house, but I do hope you guys enjoy.
so there you guys go. This right now is just the outside of the house done and a little bit of the landscaping done at this point. There's still a whole lot more to go. I think the inside might have taken me even longer. This has got to be about 10 or 12 hours of footage. I'm not even sure. Not this, but the whole thing in completed is like 10 or 12 hours of footage. This took me a long time to do. Speed builds take a while, which is why I don't do them too often, but I really do enjoy them when I do do them. It just takes me so long to do that I have to pull myself away from other things that I also enjoy doing, which is playing the game. So I do like doing this though, and I do hope you guys like the build so far. Check back for part two. The download will be included, and there is my tea water. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like or don't. That is up to you, but I do hope you'll come back and join me for more of The Sims 3 speed builds here on the channel. Thanks guys, bye bye.